It is the KJ Today Show, the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. And we are surrounded by all of it here at PopCon Louisville. And one of my favorite things about PopCon is that PopCon brings the authors to the convention. Look at this. It's, we are at Writer's Row, and we are here with the amazing Paige Lavoie. And you, so you got to tell us all about these books. I'm a little bummed that my co-host Katie isn't here because she's obsessed with Mothman. <laughs> so I may be just like bringing her all of your books. So let's talk about it. Let's talk about uh, that you got a like trilogy out now, right? Oh, yeah. It's, it's kind of funny because this always started as my fun project. It was the thing I was writing when I was stressed out. I was escaping into it. And I hadn't felt this way writing a book since I was like 16 years old writing fan fiction. So um, I just fell more and more with Mo in love with Mothman and it spanned into a series about a burnt out social media influencer running away from her life online into the woods where uh, Mothman falls on her roof and into her heart and it's been just so much fun it's it's really fun exploring monsters and also romanticy and all the fun things you get to do there so why mothman like when you were being creative was it mothman first and you built the story around it or you were like i need the like the perfect you know monster and you found mothman it was always mothman i mean first of all if you've seen the statue in point pleasant you know why um <laughs> But there's something very dark, very mysterious, a sadness around him that I think lends itself well to the style of almost like a Beauty and the Beast retelling where he was the perfect monster. Um, and I've always loved monsters. My grandpa was a big UFO, UFO cryptid guy. So I think that just always was instilled that monsters are real. I don't know that he would agree that they're attractive. But, <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta go your own way. <laughs> It's the, it's the Beauty and the Beast yeah, thing, exactly. right? I watched that a lot as a kid, and it had an effect. So, Oh, wonderful. So if somebody wants to uh, get into this, we've uh, let's let's go through which books we are, what order are we doing, and oh, my God. Okay, hang on. We're going to get to that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, okay, we have yes. uh, I'm in Love with Mothman is first, and that is Heather running off to the woods, falling in love with our monster. And then, uh, spoiler alert, they get engaged. <laughs> and this was a really fun way to explore Mothman's origins. Uh, it, we get into a little more romanticy where it's monsters and fairies in this world that feels very Bridgerton-esque, which was so much fun. And then, oh no, another spoiler, they get married. <laughs> so this was extremely fun to write because I feel like when you get into a trilogy, and this far where you have these characters who are essentially inseparable, you have to figure out a way to maybe break them, not break them up, but break them apart. So we get Moth's POV for the first time. We may see a, um, a devious presence from book two who comes into play. Heather might find out that uh, deals with fairies are binding. Mm -hmm. And uh, in a strange way, it feels very Thumbelina, where it's a, a prince trying to get back to his princess, her trying to find her way home, and it was a ton of fun. I loved it, yeah. Now, we are able to get uh, the third book here at PopCon, but it is not out yet, right? No, it's not out till December 7th, though it's been extremely special to see all three of them together. Um, I will also have uh, book three available at the Mothman Festival. Um, so that's happening in September. I get to see the statue in person and just, I'm going to swoon. I, someone's going to have to talk me out of like wearing like a fancy dress and offering him flowers. Absolutely and, not. I'm not talking you out of that. You do that. Talk me into it. <laughs> now we need, you said it, we need to see the pictures. We need the videos. It's happening. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and I love this little touch here. You've got to uh, save the date for the wedding. So, yes, they're getting married. I want everyone to be involved and invited. Um, but next year, we're actually doing a special edition of these books. So they're these, oh, they're these gorgeous hardcovers. We got the same artist, Laya, draws to do these cameos that are on the back of each character. Oh, I want to tell you everything about them. But uh, if you scan the QR code or if you go on my website under uh, Something is Coming, it's bookish goodies. It's a special edition, uh, and you're going to be getting the updates in the form of letters from the characters. So, like, oh, help me uh, choose uh, a floral arrangement, and it's all little snippets of, of building the book, which Aww, is it's so fun. That's yeah. so amazing. I I love the fact that we have um, 
built these communities around stories, right? It's, I'm, I'm sure it's got to feel good that, that people want to be a part of what you're building. Yeah, absolutely. I, I think that when you set out to write a story and uh, you just want people to relate. And, and I wrote this for me and there are a lot of me's out there. There are a lot of people who want to see themselves. I have a chronic illness. I gave the same one to my character and people come up to me and they're like, oh my gosh, I've never seen like a romantic leading hero who has Hashimoto's, a, a thyroid condition. And just to have someone fall in love with a monster, take their thyroid medication every day and get to be the main character was, was everything I wanted. And I'm so glad that whether you love monsters, you relate to something in the story, or you just want that cozy sort of holiday romance, but for people who love spooky things in Halloween, yeah. that people can come in and, and just sit down and basically enjoy a cup of tea in the form of a story. Listen, my best friend has Hashimoto's and really? she's a, a huge monster movie fan. So there we go. This is it. This is like what she's getting. Over. I yes. think there's something. It affects your thyroid and it also makes you love monsters. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining me for another celebrity interview. KJ Today, where you'll find the positive vibes of pop culture, people to know, and pets. If you like this interview, please make sure you give it a like, rate, review, and subscribe. And join us on YouTube the first Wednesday of every month for the full KJ Today Show, where we play trivia, bring you more celebrity guests, and even a pet of the week to keep you feeling the positive vibes.